and everything's working for Bear. All right. There we go. Go! Greetings, humans. Greetings. And welcome back to another fun-filled episode. Bear here. Yo, soy bear. 29-year veteran of the woods. Yes, indeed, people. That's where bears live. Want to thank everybody. Want to thank all the, uh... All of our returning people and all of the new people out there that have just subscribed. We try and do this show on every Wednesday and Saturday evenings. Right about this time, right about 8 o'clock or so. So if you happen to be new, uh, come on by, say hello. Uh, we, Bear does not bite uh, over the internet. We promise that. Promise that, people. Um, uh... I, I, Bear, you know, he, he has just a, a, a kind of a narrow range of some of the um, uh, mainstream comics out there. We do, um, we do uh, comic skate comics around here. Uh, kind of a narrow view of some of that stuff. Uh, there is a movie coming out called uh, 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 Blue Beetle. Uh, uh, who knew? Who? Who the heck knew about that? Um, I got news. Some controversy out there. We'll talk about that. Just a little bit here, but uh, there you go. I, who knew? If that is your favorite character out there, Beer apologizes. Not trying to, not trying to make fun. It's just like, oh my god, what the hell's going on now? With all this crap going on. Uh, anywho, anywho, we actually have more important stuff to talk about. That would be if Beer can find it here one of these days. Professional show, yada yada yada. Oh, well, that would be from. Uncle E out here, he's got a new update. Uh, let me, where is it here? Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. There we are. Ah, uh, finally. Beer almost lost it in the first minute and a half here. Uh, from Uncle E out there, he says he's got an update. Hello 2023, all caps, and CG apparel backers. Uh, he's, uh, just an update to let you know where we are. Uh, probably somewhere in New Jersey. I, I have received samples of almost all of the hats except for the uh, CG uh, secret camo and the CG baseball cap number D, uh, which should be in my hands soon. Uh, they're all exactly what I was expecting, and I placed orders for significant quantities of each. Very cool. I, I haven't settled on uh, quantities of shirts yet, uh, but might do that this week. Uh, they don't take as long to manufacture. Uh, you just gotta increase the whip on those... Um, I, I, on all the uh, kids out there, the, the slave labor kids. Uh, uh, anyhow, uh, <laughs> anyhow, I wore the all caps uh, blue, a uh, ball cap blue number A on my uh, number A, number A, letter A, number. A. We'll go with number A on my appearance on Timcast last week. Uh, so a lot of new people get to see and hear about all caps comics. I should have wore a beanie instead. Probably should have wore a beanie, but well, I, I don't know. Maybe you gotta stand out. I stand out a little bit. Uh, Beer, I, Beer knows that uh, uh, Tim Cast does the uh, political stuff. I, I can't really tell you much more about that. Uh, they also heard about Cyberfront 2, Wrecked Planet, uh, the best book in comics made right now, uh, which is still available to pre-order on this very campaign. Uh, so you don't miss receiving your copy today. More soon. Uh, thanks, that would be Uncle E out there. Uncle E. With, with the with the ever darkening beard out here, ever darkening beard, uh, it's going to get uh, so dark that light won't be able to escape, and then we'll know, and we'll know it'd be the the black hole, the black hole of the beard, black hole beard, we'll call it. There we go. I agree to see Grant. Let's see. Uh, good work. Uh, stream running smoothly. He can even hear me. Well, there we go. There we go. Oh, let me test. Are we are we not streaming very well? See stream health. Excellent! Bear's health is excellent out here. There we go. Very cool. Just wanted to double check that just in case. There we are. Anyways, we are moving on from Uncle E to... Oh, that would be... Uh, no, wait. That's not it. Come on, Bear. Ah, for crying out loud. I got this all screwed up now. <sighs> One of these days. Professional show. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, from Uncle E. Uh, let's, let's put it up here for crying out loud. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, hey, Cyberfrog 2 Wrecked Planet Backers. That would be Bear. Well, uh, little Timmy McTimerson. Bear just happened to, happened to abscond. Uh, a great comic out here. Uh, where are we? How much longer 
Let's do a status update, he says. Uh, we'll be uh, fulfilling the first wrecked planet campaign through May. Holy cow. Uh, at this moment, we've received 4,255 backers with 7,580 to go. Woo! Uh, it should be another two months or so. Each package involves multiple pieces, and it's important that we get everything uh, correct as we go. Uh, yeah, go check out uh, Beer's Box Open. A uh, whole bunch of stuff. Man, oh man, Beer wasn't even expecting a toy. Oh, boy. I I've uh, brought on three helpers uh, to make this process go a little bit quicker and allow me to focus entirely on drawing Rainbow the Brute and Cyberfarm 3. Uh, the second chance campaign will begin in June and won't take nearly as long. It's only, that's only, people, 2,921 orders uh, without the toy. Uh, it should take about five weeks or so. Oh, those people don't get the toy. Uh, if you haven't received your pe uh, perks yet, don't panic, people. Uh, as you can see, we're more than one-third the way through. Uh, we still have a lot of packages to ship, and you will receive an email uh, with your tracking order once the order ships. So watch out for it, people. And make sure you got your uh, uh, address updated. Our local UPS crew is keeping very busy. Uh, that's it. Just a quick appraisal of things. Uh, happy Easter. Oh, by the way, happy uh, Passover to all our... To all our Jewish friends out there, just uh, sit back, relax, let beer take care of it here. Uh, that would be from Uncle E. There you go. Good stuff. A oh, one-two. One-two hit there from Uncle E. A uh, Derpy is here. Great to see Derpy. Good to have you here, sir. All right, let me see. What was the next? I had something. Was it Clint? I think it was Clint here. There we go. Let's do that. Do the thing with the thing. Uh, hope this works. hope this is the right one. There we go. Yes, indeed. Whew. Boy, oh boy. Uh, from uh, Clint uh, Stoker, some people might know him as a uh, sweet cast out there. Uh, final shipments in my next book. Uh, all Australian back All Australian backers! I should be receiving the book soon. The books arrived in Australia. Uh, uh, probably on a flying boat or something. Uh, and they've been shipped to the individual locations. Uh, Charlie is finishing up uh, head sketches, uh, so those along with the limited print sets uh, should be shipping as soon as well. Uh, we are in a good place. By the way, Beer actually has... Uh, we're going to do this a little bit later. We're going to do a um, do a review of uh, Fatal here. I, I wanted uh, to let you all know that my other series, Downcast, I'll be launching on Thursday, so tomorrow. Uh, if you're new to Downcast, there will be a new reader tier that will help you get caught up on over 200 pages of amazing comics. Bear needed that. He read the third one. Third one? I think it was the third one there. Uh, it was a good book, just a little little confused about some of the stuff, just because he hadn't read read the other two. Uh, here's a sneak peek. You can check that out. I, I hope uh, to have your support on Thursday evening uh, for this next chapter. I wonder if he's going to launch it on... I wonder if he's going to launch it on his channel or maybe another one. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting out there. Hi, great to see Amy. Great to have Amy here. And Melissa, too. I'm sure she's not far behind. Australia, crikey, says Peabody. They got the books, and us Canadians haven't. Oh, and hi! Hi. <laughs> great, uh, great eggs there, mate. Great eggs there. <laughs> Beer is still working on his on his um, Australian accent. Still, still trying to get the right, right one there. Um, from Dan Fraga. He's got a black flag. Uh, holy smokes and an update. Oh, shoot. I forgot to get all of these. Gosh darn it. Um, Beer's gonna do... Uh, 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 some good stuff. Beer's gonna have to show this maybe on Saturday. Wow, what a butt. Uh, <laughs> uh, gonna have to do this maybe... Maybe I forgot to... I forgot to import this stuff in. Gosh dang it. Uh busy doing fatal out there. Uh, anyways, we'll, we'll check in with um, uh, uh, Dan Fraga here, uh, hopefully pretty shortly. Let me get let me get out of that. Get out of that one. That'd be a little too much there for beer. We'll do that one on Saturday, just in case. There might not be might not be a whole lot of updates. We'll say we'll put that in the back pocket here for beer. <clears throat> in the back pocket. Oh, of course, it would help not to have a blank screen. There we are. I uh, Titan from Gary Shipman out here. He's got an update on Titan, Mouse of the Mice. Uh, volume 3. Beer actually has this page. <sighs> got Titan's page. Didn't get Dan Fraga's page. 
Oh, yeah. An update on Titan and also Mike. Volume numero trace out here. Uh, Gary is close to uh, the halfway point of the 60. Is Gary talking in the third person? Bear gets very angry when Gary talks in the third person. Uh, Gary is close to the halfway point on page uh, 68. Or, uh, on the 68th. Is the halfway point on the 68 page volume? There we go. Uh, and it looks uh, fantastic. Uh, art is being streamed live on Gary Shipman's art channel. There you go. Go check it out, people. Some good stuff there from Gary. Really nice stuff. I like that. Really like that. Uh, he's kind of a, a sort of... Um, Trying to figure out the way to describe it. Kind of like the the old wise mouse out there that's trying to help out Titan. So, interesting stuff. Always enjoy Gary's work. Always enjoy it. I, I think his Kickstarter campaign is coming to a close here. So, there we are. Some good stuff there. Good stuff indeed for you good people. Uh, Amy says, I feel I feel like Australia is a lot further away from us than you guys are. Crikey. Uh, how did they lose the books uh, so badly? Uh, Bear, Bear blames the Mounties. Bear blames the Mounties. Uh, let's see. It's a work in progress. You don't often hear about Australian bears very often. Uh, so it's hard. It's hard to practice a eh? day-to-day. Crikey. The toilets go backwards. Bear doesn't even go to the toilets. Crikey. Uh, how strange to be one of the least deadly animals in the continent. Hmm. Indeed. Gotta watch out for those dingoes, though. They steal people's babies. That's true, people. It is true. All right, let's get to it, people. Uh, we've got, we've got some stuff here to talk about, including. Let me find it here. Uh, uh, something called a uh, blue beetle. Blue beetle here. Bear, I, uh, if it's your favorite character, Bear, doesn't mean any offense there, but I uh, had no idea what blue beetle was, what it was all about. Happened to see something when Bear was kind of uh, going ahead of what the DC schedule was going to be. It was like, oh, a uh, blue beetle. Oh, okay. At, at first, it was supposed to be on HBO Max, and then they, for whatever reason, decided to put it out on... Um, uh, in the theater, so it's coming out here, uh, uh, let's see, what is this? I can't read it there, 2023, 20, I don't know. It's coming out, uh, apparently sometime here. And oh boy, is this one a doozy, is this one a doozy. Let's, let's, before we get into it, people, let, let's do what we normally do here. Let's do this here, let me get rid of this here. Let me get rid of this. Oh, we've got some stills here from the movie. Uh, we'll get into the Batman as a fascist here in just a second. Uh, but just take a look. Uh, take a beautiful look at Blue Beetle. And what do, what does what do you people notice in in, in the Blue Beetle? Uh, these are the promotional stuff. This is what uh, Warner Brothers wants people to see. Apparently, I don't know why. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. There is there's uh, the Blue Beetle. Apparently, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. And Susan Sarandon. Yay, Susan Sarandon. Oh, boy. Uh, that would be um, a, a, a Tim Robbins' mother, if uh, you don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, everything is blue. Uh, first off, uh, this looks terrible. I mean, not the, the Batman is a fascist stuff. That's pretty bad. But um, I, no, this looks like it's... Like, look, this, this one right here. This just looks awful. This looks completely, <laughs> completely terrible. He's got the... Got the sword from one of the Final Fantasy things, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this stinking movie here, but um, uh, everything is apparently either blue or purple, uh, including in some scenes where it doesn't really need to be blue or purple. They just have it like uh, Susan Strandon's wearing purple for some reason, and then there's purple lights as well for dramatic effect, I suppose. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, 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 what's his name? Lopez here. Uh, no reason to have uh, purple lights in this scene, but uh, gosh darn it, it's got to go with the rest of the movie here, so. Uh, anyways, this looks just terribly awful. Uh, Beer happened to look up the director here. We'll get into him in just a second, but it uh, uh, looks like he's just out of um, uh, film school. Uh, they, they they hire all the good uh, people to do, you know, all the, all the set dressings and the costumes and all that sort of stuff. 
And then they just give it over to some, you know, yokel that's like, oh, it's my third movie that I've ever made. Like, oh, okay, yeah, let's hand over a, I don't know, what do you people think? Eighty million, hundred million dollar? Uh, God, it doesn't look like it. Man, oh man, it does not look like this at all, but, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe seventy-five million. Let's just call it seventy-five million. Uh, I don't know where that money went. Uh, the the money went poof. Uh, they they might have been uh, uh, paying for some uh, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's uh, tequila. Maybe I don't know. Keep him happy. I don't know. This looks God. This just looks terrible. Looks just god awful here. Uh, anywho, anywho, let's get into it because because oh for crying out loud. One second here, people. Professional show, yada yada yada, all that stuff. One of these days. Anyways, enjoy Susan Sarandon for just one second here. Let's see, do the thing with the thing. Let's see, do the thing. Gosh darn it. Should have done this earlier. That's why you do capture stuff. There we go. Okay. Here's that. Here's that. Do the thing with the thing. And then you do the thing, and then you gotta scale it correctly, because OBS doesn't do it automatically. Whatever gosh darn reason. I don't know. Anywho, here we are. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. Alright, get out of that. There we go. And you people. Gotta have you people in here. Yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> uh, Peabody says, at least I have a trucking number. Uh, it says it's in New Jersey, uh, so it hasn't left even, even state, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Derpy says that suit looks meh. Looks meh out there. Uh, Bear couldn't agree more. Uh, this doesn't even have to do with the director. Well, it does have to do with the director, but uh, I, just, to, just the way he shoots it. it. It's terrible. It looks awful. Uh, Bear looked up this guy's um, uh, thing. He had, let's see, it was like one or two... Um, uh, short, short films, uh, that didn't go nowhere, uh, he did a, talking about Trump here, he did a, sort of, I guess, documentary where he went around and, um, filmed different, um, uh, Trump campaign venues, I, I'm sure with an objective eye there, uh, and then did, like, uh, maybe a, a TV show or something like that, and then gets Blue Beetle, it's like, here, here's a hundred million dollars, go, go, go just burn it all, burn it all, uh, so anyways, from our Good folks here. Uh, bounding into comics, uh, the great John F. Trent, a Blue Beetle director, a uh, tweet, uh, delays rather, tweet, a uh, wishing assassination on President Donald Trump, uh, claiming Puerto Rico is a slave colony. Gotta, gotta love the, um, gotta love the shirt that he's wearing there. Very hip. Very hip. Yeah, you gotta show that you're down. You're down with the struggle out there. A Blue Beetle director, that would be Angel Manuel Soto, uh, recently deleted a tweet where he hoped that the great uh, President Trump uh, would be assassinated uh, like President Lincoln. Well, let's check that out. Let's check that out. Let's see. Where am I? There we are. Spent all that time and then took it away. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Uh, so, uh, let's see, um, uh, from a tweet on August 7th, uh, 2018, uh, he wrote, The only thing I hope Trump has similar to Lincoln's presidency is the way that it ended. Uh, night. Well, well, uh, at least, at least he is admitting that Trump did win a second term. I think, I think we know where he's going with that one. I, uh, someone, uh, called, uh, Lofty Pickle, Lofty Pixels, rather. Lofty Pickles, too. Sounds pretty good. I uh, checked it out there. He he, he screen capped it there and uh, shared it with everybody. Uh, the tweet was still live on Twitter as of last night. Let's see, was that? Let's see, that was uh, uh, two days ago. Two days ago. Uh, but after Lofty Pixels or Pickles uh, shared the tweet to his account, it appeared that Soto deleted the tweet. A uh, Twitter user. Uh, Cortez the Catman uh, responded to the tweet was deleted sometime in the middle of the night around 3.49 a.m. Keeping keeping it uh, long, long hours there. Keeping long hours. 
Uh, the deletion of the tweet not only came after her lofty pixels, shared it to social media, but came after Soto was criticizing for including George Lopez's Batman is a fascist line at the end of the Blue Beetle trailer. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, Warner Brothers, if that's the way that you want... They could have had that in the movie and not promoted it. You know, just kind of has the line in the movie and, oh, that's supposed to be a funny line and it kind of goes from there. Uh, no, they put it up in their trailer. They put it up in their trailer for some reason. Calling Batman a fascist for some reason. So, um, uh, okay. All right, let's, let's go with that. Yes, your multi, multi, multi-million dollar franchise uh, is headed by a bad German, unfortunately. So uh, there you go. That's I, we got to figure out which Batman he's talking about, though. We've got like five different Batmans. Is it Ben Affleck? Is Ben Affleck a bad German? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, is it Robert Patterson? It could be. It could be Robert Patterson is a bad German. Uh, is it? Is it the new the new Batman that uh, James Gunn's going to be talking about? I don't know. Probably. Let's just go ahead and preemptively say that he is a bad German as well. And of course, let's see who else we got. We got Michael Keaton. We got Michael Keaton. Uh, he's not a he's not a bad German, couldn't be. And uh, 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 do we have another? Oh, we got the animated Batman. Got the animated Batman out there. So they're all they're all bad Germans. So Bear would say, don't watch any of them if you know what's good for you out there. A YouTuber, Ryan Cadell, uh, criticized the conclusion of the line, saying, "Quote at the end, uh, the Batman is fascist." Uh, this is pandering to the stupid. Uh, effing a 20-year-old a free po pre free profile picture. She, them, don't know what your effing gender is, don't buy comics, don't have money to go to movies. Uh, that's who that effing S is pandering to. Man, oh man. Uh, <laughs> uh, Batman is fascist. F off with that. That's so stupid. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Kendall out there, uh, can we call you Ryan? Ryan out here. Uh, can we? Let me, let me pull this up here. Uh, Ryan. Ryan, sir. Uh, maybe. May maybe, sir. Maybe if Bear can help out. Uh, you don't have to drop the F-bomb every single time uh, you have a sentence. Uh, Bear, Bear does it all the time. Bear can figure it out. And believe me, Bear has a mouth like a sailor. He could, he could go off. Go off here, but he does It's all, it's all in the head here, people. All in the head. Uh, his criticism uh, would be clipped and shared to Twitter by CB Movie Fan. Uh, who wrote a George Lopez saying, Batman is uh, the bad German, uh, has this MF, I, I can assume what that means, sir, uh, riled up. Uh, the user added, I needed more lines like that from the movie, as they're freaking out like this. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's nothing really to freak out about. It's, um, uh, you're destroying your multi, multi, multi million dollar a franchise with a cheap throwaway line in a in a movie. Uh, uh, can we say George Lopez is a racist? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and just uh, George. Come on after beer here. Come on after beer if you disagree with that. I'm gonna just go ahead and say George Lopez kind of racist. Uh, out there uh, doesn't like uh, the white people. And so there you go. Um, I, again, it's it doesn't matter to beer. Uh, Blue Beetle. It's like, huh? Who, who cares? Who, who even knew that a Blue Beetle movie was coming out, much less has a, you know, a, a Mexican contingent in there? Who knew? But uh, there you go. Uh, there he is with the, the Geeks and Grifters fella. What's his name? Uh, like Jeremy? Was it Jeremy or something? There you go. The, the sort of <laughs> assistant manager at the uh, lo local, um, local grocery store, apparently. Uh, Soto responded to the tweet. Let's find that here. There we go. Responded to the tweet uh, with some uh, laughing emoji and a Skeletor GIF, uh, GIF, whatever, uh, that reads, Well, my job is done. Uh, 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 yeah, yes it is. Your job is done. Uh, for a long, long time, sir. I don't think, um, I don't think many people are going to be hiring you based on, hell, based on, here, we'll show it again. Based on, no, not that one, based on this stuff. No, not Susan Sarandon, just the terrible, terrible look. There, there's the line right there if you want to check out his, the line in the, I'm not going to watch the stick and trailer for you people. 
beer has beer has a higher opinion of himself than that. Can't 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 go down to that. Can't go down to that level. But yeah, anyways, there you go. Uh, there is all of the talent of Mister um, of Mister Soto out here. My work is done. His work is clearly done. Uh, not only did Soto previously hope for the assassination of Donald Trump, El Trumpo, uh, but he also claimed that Puerto Rico is a slave colony? Question mark. Let's find that out. Uh, he says here. He says you must be the dumbest piece of you know what to cross Twitter. He's talking to, let's see, uh, uh, El Trumpo and somebody called uh, Jacob A. Wohe. You don't know who that is, but there you go. Uh, right after Trump. Uh, how stupid can you be? I don't know. Let's find out, sir. Uh, Puerto Rico is a slave colony of the United States. Uh, no, 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 sir, no. Uh, Puerto Rico is a, a, a territory of the United States. In fact, Puerto Rico actually gets some very generous uh, welfare benefits that uh, people on the mainland, they, they don't actually get. Uh, they, they get uh, lower taxes there as well. Uh, all sorts of great st uh, stuff there for Puerto Rico. You gotta, you gotta battle the, the hurricanes every once in a while, but um, a nice place to be. Uh, one of the things Beard talks about on the channel is the crypto stuff. A uh, very um, uh, heavy industry there in Puerto Rico is uh, the crypto. So go figure. Uh, kind of uh, lax, lax laws on the banking, banking side of things. Uh, your passport, he continues, your passport was imposed on us, uh, so there's nowhere else to go uh, after your... Wait a minute, hold on. Your passport was imposed on us. Uh, but did, did they force you to take the passport? Usually you have to, like, go and apply for a passport. Uh, it was imposed on us, so there's nowhere else to go. Uh, sir, that's the entire point of a passport. If you wanted to go somewhere outside of... Puerto Rico, you, you take your passport and you go to, I don't know, Mexico, uh, it seems to love the Venezuela, so go down to Venezuela, uh, may, maybe um, uh, Brazil or something like that, uh, you can leave, sir, you can leave and never come back, and you'll be just fine. Uh, so there's nowhere else to go after your country, I'm assuming the U.S., uh, uh, poops on my land and blames us uh, for the stink. He says F you. Well, sir, um, uh, multiple... Multiple things wrong with this. Uh, first off, uh, sort of correct, Puerto Rico was, many, 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 many years ago, a slave colony, but it wasn't of the United States. Uh, the United States wasn't even a country at that point. Puerto Rico was actually a slave colony of... Da -da 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 that would be Española out there, sir. That would be Spain. That would be... Uh, the original, the, the originator out there, uh, they were pretty heavy in the slave trade. So, uh, oh gosh, do we go there? Um, so he calls himself Puerto Rican. Do we go there? Uh, well, uh, be, uh, let's see, hold on here. He's Castilian, I think we can go here. Um, uh, I I if you were a slave, if you were a slave, come well, actually, you weren't a slave at that point, you were just a commodity at that point, I suppose? I don't know. Uh, you're coming from Africa. You're coming from Africa over to the New World. And, um, uh, you know, there's certain things that happen along the journey. You know, either people are uh, uh, become very sick, or maybe they're not uh, the ones that uh, the people are buying the slaves. Maybe they, they might not be uh, physically fit. So you're either ill, physically unfit. Uh, may maybe you've got, uh, you know... Uh, mental issues or something like that. Uh, all those people, were, they were left on Puerto Rico. They didn't want them in the New World. So all the all the people there were left in the Caribbean islands there where, you know, you're, you're strong, you know, you're people that were going to be doing the slave work out there. Not that we are promoting that. Um, uh, tended to be of the stronger, more kind of physically fit, uh, mentally fit kind of variety there. So uh, that was Espanol. That was Espanol. Um... Uh, the United States uh, didn't get Puerto Rico until, like, the 1930s? 1920s, 1930s, I think. Uh, we got that from, uh, that would be from England, sir. That would be from England, uh, the, um, uh, Lend-Lease. We, we lent, quote-unquote, lent uh, Britain a bunch of ships and tanks and everything, and we got Puerto Rico out of it. And a couple of the other islands, a pretty cool deal there. But, uh, uh no, uh, there was no slaves 
from the U.S. that were on Puerto Rico. That was the 1930s before before that took over. So, sir, uh, you're wrong on that count. Uh, the passport uh, you can leave at any time. Uh, and and for the whole pooping on your land, sir, uh, is someone from F Florida? Uh, Puerto Rico got I don't know like 20 billion dollars or something like that after the the big hurt was it Maria. It was Maria that was down there. Uh, meanwhile, the same year Florida gets hit by a Category 5 hurricane, uh, we get a measly, uh, like, a billion and a half dollars to fix everything, including a whole bunch of uh, uh, military, military properties out there. Uh, they didn't get a whole lot of money there, so... Um, uh, uh, sir, uh, there's no there's no pooping on your land. Your, your land is actually getting a lot of money, and the value is going increasingly high, so, um... Uh, uh, not F me, sir. That would be, that would be effing you, sir. Yes, sir. Anyways, uh, let's see. He goes on, he says, I Ironically, uh, Soto appeared to big members of the media and potential moviegoers doing a Q&A session at a trailer lunch. Uh, IGN reported, uh, Soto told them and other medias in the member, If you help us, and this movie becomes a... Why does every single thing has to be an F that or uh, S that or uh, for crying out loud? <sighs> If if you help us and this movie becomes a massive hit, uh, sir, I hate to break it to you, but um, uh, 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 judging by the stills that you have in your promotional trailer, uh, not only is it going to be a massive hit, it's going to be a massive effing flop, sir. Uh, we're going to see a lot of these characters. That's what needs to happen. So we need you to help us. <laughs> you to help us to make this movie a hit, because apparently it's not. Uh, he added, if we want to see more variety and really celebrate differences, celebrate culture, uh-huh, yeah, sure, uh, and celebrate other worlds because it's fun, the lures are so spectacular, uh, the only way is by a supporting movie, supporting a movie like this, multiple, multiple times, I would assume. What do you make of Soto's decision, uh, of the tweet and his response, blah, 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 blah. Um, he's a, he's an, well, uh, this is what he was talking about earlier. Uh, uh, Bear will say this, uh, as a Castilian out there, uh, uh, Mr., uh, Mr., uh, what was his name, uh, uh, Soto out here, probably has more in common through his ancestry, uh, uh, with the slave trade, uh, than the people he is agitating against, so, um, that would be, that would be what Bear says out here. It's neat. Alright, what does everybody else say? A uh, beer, uh, but don't, uh, but boats don't have caves. That's true. That's true. <clears throat> Wait, oh, I'm missing something here. Hold on. Oh, P-Mai says, I'm listening, uh, beer, but I'm doing the dishes. Good, good for you, sir. Good for you. Um, so what is the likelihood a Blue Beetle movie will be balanced and not at all woke? Uh, uh, just look at the guy's shirt right there. Just look at his shirt. <clears throat> Let's see, um, oh, here we go. Uh, bear has a mouth like a sailor. Uh, probably they eat a lot of fish, too. That is true. That is true. Uh, what with being on a boat all the time. Here we go. But boat, uh, boats don't have caves, uh, uh, thankfully. Bear wouldn't get on a boat anyways. Uh, well, I guess if you keep the uh, flash guy in the pay payroll, you tolerate any bad behavior. This is true, Amy. This is true. Uh, you need people to help you make uh, this movie successful because it's not good enough uh, to succeed otherwise. Yes, I'm assuring, I'm, I'm pro uh, positive that all the, all the people there at IGN and the other, the other places, you know, uh, they got their free screening, so I'm sure they're gonna go back and pay full price on opening day to go check out. Uh, by the way, a anybody here has anybody heard of this movie before? Uh, uh, Beer just kind of came across it, just kind of. Scanning the stuff. Honestly, Beer thought it was going to be like a kids, like a kids movie that they were putting on um, HBO Max, and uh, they decided, no, no, we're going to put it in the theaters, and then we're going to promote this this fella here. Uh, like, why, why? Oops, I'm sorry, I got the, got the chat off here. Where is the chat? Where did the chat go? There we go. There's the chat. Apologize. There we go. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, no, no, this is. 
thought this was like a joke. <laughs> they literally thought Blue Beetle like, okay, nobody's heard of Blue Beetle before. What the, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, Shazam, okay, we got that. You know, Black Atom, okay, fine. You got the rock starring in there, but um, let me see. Hold on, let me, hold on one second here, people, because they got a whole, whole bunch of, this is the George Lopez, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, he had, let me see who, here we go, here we go, people. Let's see if we've heard of any of these people before. Zolo Mandorina. I, I probably, Beer's gonna probably be butchering all of these. Andini Barraza out here. A Damien Alcazar. Uh, El Pedida Carro. Carrillo. Carrillo. Something like that. Bruna Marquense. Uh, Reu Max Tarijo. Uh, we finally, finally came across somebody that Beer's heard of. Susan Sarandon. That would be the mother, mother of uh, Tim Robbins. Uh, noted racist George Lopez. Uh, uh, by the way, is that is that like headlining material there? Didn't George Lopez have like a show on and then it got canceled after like, like 13 episodes or something? It didn't last very long. Didn't last very long. He he's, he's went from just being a bad comic to being a very... Um, like a dirty old man, apparently. So, there you go. Uh, Belissa Escabario. And, of course, uh, Harvey Gillan. Uh, directed by Angel uh, Manuel Soto. Uh, based off a of screenplay by Darth Garth uh, Dunnett Alacor. Oh, for crying out loud. So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Zolo uh, Marindalina. Marindu... Marinduina. It's not Italian, I know that. So is, is the X silent? Is Bear doing that wrong? Is it, is it like Olo? Olo, man, I, I don't know. What the heck? Has anybody heard of any of these people before other than Susan Sarandon and maybe George Lopez? Has anybody heard of the Blue Beetle? I, probably, I, I don't know, maybe. I don't mean to, don't mean to be diminishing a... A, a favorite of people out there, if, if everybody's favorite is Blue Beetle, but, um... Uh, no, this is going to uh, crash and bomb, and along with it, they do the stupid thing. If they try to make... Oh, okay, let's let's make sure that... Let's go back to it here. Let's make sure that, uh, you know, the, the Geeks and Grifters guys are talking about it. Oh, that'll get more people... Uh, more people will be talking about it, and there'll be more engagement, and, you know... It might not directly, you know, relate to ticket sales, but, uh, boy, oh, boy... Uh, boy, people are talking about it. It's like, yeah, we're talking about it, how bad it's going to be, so. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, let's see. Um, Amy Lester's never heard of it before. Uh, she, but she is going to go. Uh, uh, Bear wants to go see the Mario Brothers. Probably twice at least, though. Uh, he's heard good things about them, the Mario Brothers movie. Uh, the Great Damien is this film. Damien, oh my goodness, I have no idea whose that is, says people. <laughs> That would be Damien Alcazar. Alcazar. There we go. Got to put a put an accent on it. So there you are. <laughs> a P money says I'd be more excited if it was the Ted Cord Blue Beetle instead of the Jamie Blue Beetle. Yeah, apparently there had something to do with. Uh, apparently the the te I don't know anything about this P money, but apparently it's supposed to be a. Let's see, was it in here? I don't know if it was in this one or not, but, uh, it has some, uh, apparently, apparently, let's see, did it have the, did it have the synapses in here? I, Beer might have read something else. Let's see, hold on. Oh, you can't see it on there anyways. Um, oh, uh, Susan surrounded as Victoria Cord. So they, I, I, I guess, I guess, swap that out. So there you go. I don't know. Um. Uh, anyways, there there was uh, there was something about the the court. They were it was supposed to be like a like a I don't know an Iron Man type situation there where uh, it was like Cord Industries or something like that. The kid I don't know what the hell is his even name. Uh, the Blue Beetle fella um, uh, he goes in and he steals he, he steals the, um, uh, the 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 suit. Apparently it's like a alien alien suit or something like that. He steals it. Oh, that's that's great. Steals it uh, from the from the cord company. And apparently, Susan Sarandon wants it back. So uh, there you go. There is there's that. I don't know. Looks stupid. Looks. 
Oh, I can't say it, but um, uh, uh, synonymous with stupid out there. Synonymous with stupid. Yes, indeed. All right, let me get back to it. That's why Bear calls it a dung, the dung beetle out there. Not the blue beetle, but the dung beetle. <clears throat> All right, let me grab something to drink. Ah. Because, because, people, Bear actually wants to talk about, instead of bad stuff all the time, he wants to talk about some good stuff. Uh, that is, uh, Bear checked it out the other night, uh, some good stuff there from uh, Clint Stoker, and of course, um, uh, Charlie, I, I always get this wrong, is it Snoggins or Scoggins? I, I forget. I forget if it's Snoggins or Stoggins, but uh, there you go. Uh, Fatal, or Fat L, if you people prefer out there. I uh, checked it out the other night, um... Let's start off with some good stuff out here. Let's start off with some good stuff. Uh, fantastic art. He's got some fantastic, fantastic art here. Great stuff. Um, uh, interesting, interesting um, artwork that he has here. There we go. Uh, some interesting, great stuff that he has. Lots of great action. He has a lot of great action. Um, a lot of the panels kind of, uh, for the most part, um, kind of flow together. Uh, with each other. Uh, some really uh, interesting, interesting artwork that he's doing. Um, uh, Fatal is a... Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Uh, Finn's Alien uh, Termination and Logistics. So basically it's a, um, uh, a, a space uh, a bug hunter, uh, a space uh, a pest, pest control out there. So uh, uh, that's what he's doing there at the very beginning. I, I probably saw some of this in the promotional material. So... Uh, interesting, interesting artwork that he has coming out with here. Um, uh, combined uh, with um, uh, uh, Clint Stoker uh, doing some good work. Uh, he's um, uh, uh, writing where uh, uh, Charlie is, is doing the artwork here. Uh, Charlie did a really good job. Unfortunately, um, uh, the campaign started back in 20, 2020. I want to say like uh, September, October time frame. Might have been a little earlier than that. Uh, started around then. Uh, one uh, progressively bad thing happened after the other. Um, uh, Clint lost his, his printer at the time. Uh, Charlie had an uh, overload of work that he had coming in, so he had to put Fatal off to the side there for a little bit. So uh, in the book, um, you get probably about halfway, three quarters of the way through, and you can tell kind of a just a slight difference in, in the artwork. It's not bad or anything like that, but uh, you can tell uh, on some of these earlier pages here, um, uh, really, really intense with the artwork, and then um, it gets a little, again, it's not bad, but a little, a little less intense, a little bit more uh, sort of on the mundane side of things. Uh, they're going around the, the city there. Uh, we'll get into the story in just a minute here, but... Um, they're going around the city there, so some more city shots rather than some of the more big action scenes that he has. Uh, let's see, let me go back. Uh, uh, Fatal, Fat L, whatever you want to call it. Flynn's Alien, um, uh, uh, ter let's see, Termination and Logistics. Uh, kind of like a alien exterminator. Comes down to a planet here. He's hired, mysteriously hired by a group of people. Came down uh, trying to battle aliens. Uh, comes to find out that there's a little bit more going on, some palace intrigue, and uh, that's where you get the young girl and, um, and, uh, gosh, I forget her name, the, the, the blonde-haired lady there, um, uh, she's, like, her protector, um, I, I didn't catch, like, the relationship, uh, how they, how they had that there, but, uh, uh, the young girl kind of wants, she sees um, uh, Flynn out there fighting the aliens, so she wants to, uh, hey, let me go check this out. So she kind of uh, sneaks away from the, the queen, her mother there, uh, sneaks away, goes to find uh, um, uh, Flynn. Uh, they join up uh, together, and uh, uh, they've got a bigger mystery to solve. Uh, and then they uh, go back into the city, try and find out some stuff. Uh, um, uh, Flynn needs... He's got some technical issues that he's got to work out with his, like, AI robot that he has kind of floating around there with him. Uh, so they go back into the city. Uh, they, they get some stuff fixed. They get a, a sort of a tip where to kind of check out, where to kind of go to figure out what's going on with the with the um, ali uh, the aliens coming down to the planet. It's very interesting. It's very kind of um, uh, current day stuff where, you know, a majority of the people that are living uh, on the planet are living in what's called the bubble. So they're uh, very high society, you know, kind of party, party sort of situation. Let me, let me bring 
that up. Let me see if we can find that. Um, let me find it here. Um, there we go. Kind of a kind of a big party situation. So they're in the bubble. They they just don't want oh the aliens whatever you know they're they're invading the planet. Yeah, it's fine, but they're not invading the bubble, so it's fine. Well, the girl wants to go check it out and all that sort of stuff. Well, they come to find out why everybody, you know, is is not not too concerned about any of this stuff. And uh, uh, hijinks, hijinks ensue at the very end. So uh, there you go. There you go. Um, good, good enough. Let's just put it that way. Good enough storytelling. Uh, Clint tells kind of a... Uh, you know, there's a lot of intrigue that's going on there, kind of, um, uh, when you're doing some of that stuff, you know, you, you kind of want to, especially in the first, the first, um, uh, episode, or the first book that you have here, uh, Bear always says, you know, uh, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, simple plot, complex characters, uh, so you don't want to get too crazy with your plot, and, you know, ten different spinning wheels out there, you, you keep it, keep it kind of simple, um, so, what Bear's kind of complaint here, let me go to some of the other stuff here. He's got some good black and white stuff. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, very, uh, they did what's called, and Bear had to look this up, um, uh, didn't know too much about it. Uh, they did it in what's called the, the Marvel method. Uh, so basically, Clint uh, would come up with the artwork, or pardon me, pardon me. Uh, uh, Charlie would come up with the artwork there, and then Clint would have to uh, come back after the artwork is in and kind of make a story out of that. So um, uh, Charlie came up with kind of the first initial, I don't know, five or ten pages or something like that, and then Clint went to work on the story from there. And it kind of felt a little that way. There was some issues that Bear had where uh, initially it was very... Best way to describe it is maybe uh, aliens meets or alien uh, meets a uh, blade blade runner meets um uh, you know those sorts of films out there very kind of uh, serious uh, gritty um uh, sci-fi it, it went from that uh to being very saturday morning cartoon um haha type funny stuff so very weird sort of tonal shifts in there. Um, there was, let me see, I don't know if I have it on this one or not, but there was one where the, the main character there, Flynn, you know, he, he was very gruff in, in one panel, and then, and then like two panels later or something like that, it was this sort of, you know, comic, comic look, comic laugh to it. It was, it just kind of threw Bear off there. Um, also, he did a really good job with the panels and the pacing at some points, uh, but others, uh, they were they were cutting back and forth between um, uh, Flynn, Flynn. It seemed like he was falling out of the sky for like twenty pages. Uh, they would they would cut from Flynn battling the aliens and falling out of the sky to uh, the sort of royal palace intrigue, uh, and then back uh, to Flynn. But it was like several pages of palace intrigue, so you lost that sort of. Uh, pacing, you know, uh, uh, Flynn's falling down from the sky, and then they cut, you know, several pages later, and then they cut back, so it kind of lost a lot of its um, uh, momentum that he had going on there. Um, minor stuff like that that kind of threw Bear out of it there, but man, oh man, some excellent, excellent artwork. Uh, he did a really good job. Um, there, there was one part uh, right around this, the, these pages here, actually, I've got it right here, don't I, where it is... Um, he kind of breaks character and does this sort of video... He just killed a bunch of aliens and then kind of does this um, a TV sort of shot, but it never really explained how that worked out. All you saw in the very beginning was just Flynn, you know, talking about money with... I wasn't sure if it was an AI or if it was like... Uh, like one of his handlers or something like that. Uh, he was talking to somebody out there about money. Um, uh, basically, they're being paid in credits rather than actual cash. He was kind of ticked off about that. Anyways, uh, doing some uh, uh, battles, and then all of a sudden he goes and cuts to, you know, kind of a goofy sort of commercial. Um, it, it, was, it was a little bit off. It was a little bit odd there. But um, I, I tell you, other than that, uh, some great stuff. Uh, we had this panel, or excuse me, the, the print. Uh, that came out, if you check out the box open there. Uh, this was actually just one panel, uh, a, a part of a page. So, um, 
if you can kind of ex abstract from that, a lot of the great stuff that Charlie was doing might just come up as a panel, you know, so you just see that or something like that. Uh, does great, amazing work, but uh, sometimes it just didn't fit and coalesce together. Um, one of the other things that uh, Bear remembers early on, um, uh, John Malin, um, I remember R.T. Bear, uh, every once in a while they would uh, comment on um, uh, uh, people's artwork or campaigns out there. Hey, you need to do this, you need to do that sort of deal. One of the things that Bear remembered was they were telling people, hey, you can be a great artist out there and just draw like covers and stuff like that. Once you start actually getting into the actual comic, you know, you need to be able to draw some of the more, you know, um, uh, you know, mundane stuff. You know, uh, 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 a hand picking up keys or something. So uh, uh, you need to be able to do some of the more basic stuff uh, that would lead into the more kind of hyper, you know, um, a, a crazy, a crazy gonzo sort of a, a, a panel or artwork or two-page spreads or something like that. So... Uh, might need to work just a little bit on, on some of that stuff, but other than that, uh, the action was really good. Um, some of the action was a little bit um, confusing, like Bear said. Uh, uh, Flynn felt like he was falling for 30 pages. Uh, he would fall on something, uh, and, and then it would turn out to be like a floating platform or something, and uh, stuff like that, it needed to be a little bit more um, uh, fleshed out. Uh, you know, like maybe a wider shot to show where everything was, and then you can kind of narrow it down. Uh, it seemed like he kept falling onto different things, and then it would explode, so he'd have to jump off to something else. And then there would be a building. It was a little a little confusing out there, so... Um, uh, that's that's kind of what Bear would have to say. A very good book. I uh, would like to see what uh, happens. It leaves on a cliffhanger, unfortunately. Hopefully it doesn't take another three years here. Um... Leaves on a cliffhanger. Good book. Um, uh, probably a couple of things that Beer would say uh, it might need to change with the story there. But uh, uh, for what they had to do, I, I think it was pretty good. Uh, Beer would suggest just to Clint, you know, come up with the story first and then do the artwork. It's it's fine to do a, a couple of you know concept arts, but um, uh, having to draw that out and then come back to figure out, okay, how do we do this? How do we fit the story into what, what is being drawn? Um, probably worked for Marvel when they were just, you know, cranking them out, you know, one after another, but for a comic book that lasted three years, um, uh, development here, uh, yeah, just come up with a little bit more of a, a more cohesive story, I, I think they would have knocked it out of the park, um, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, little tweaks here or there, he would have had a great book, but, um, uh, for a first attempt, uh, from, uh, uh, Charlie out here, great job. Um, I don't know if this is Clint's um, highest grossing campaign, but um, uh, he did, by the way, he did pretty good. By the way, he, um, it, it is still up. It is still up, and, if we can get to it here. <clears throat> uh, it is being shadow banned by our good friends out here at Indiegogo, so um, uh, go check it out. There you are, you can check it out there, take you right to it. Of course, you can't search for it. Thanks, Indiegogo. Urgh. Uh, so you can go check it out there. It, it is still being um, uh, fulfilled. You can see that there where he's still doing it uh, to Australia. But uh, yeah, go ahead and check it out. You can check out Bear's box open there. Uh, see what it's all about. Um, he's still got most of the stuff up there. Um, I'm trying to remember if the artist edition is still up. Uh, it, it may not be, but um, everything else looked pretty good. Um, uh, came in, once they finally finished it, uh, came in. Uh, good packaging and all that stuff. So pretty good. Good job, Clint. Uh, good job, uh, Charlie. A great first attempt out here. Uh, doing some great work. Um, uh, just maybe needs to speed it up just a little bit. And also uh, just work a little bit on the story. Just work a little bit on the story there. And I think you've got uh, a, a great, a great book. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let me see this. Um, <clears throat> Amy says, those are some nice panels. They are. Let me go back to it. Let me go back to some of the, some of the uh, pages here. I, I liked this one. There was a, uh, if you could see um, off to the uh, left-hand side, the, the young girl, the prince, I'm trying to remember her name, I forgot, uh, the princess there. Uh, in the previous uh, panels, you see um, uh, Flynn battling it out, and then it kind of cuts over to kind of her uh, perspective there, so it, it, it seamlessly transitions. I, I thought that was really good. 
Um, but uh, some of the stuff it didn't transition too well. But uh, hey, it, it looked it looked pretty good. But uh, yeah, some great uh, when he when he got it when they were nailing it. Uh, some great pacing, uh, some great stuff there. Let me go back to some of the um, some of the color pages here. There you go. So, anyways, there's some. Oh, there was the previous page right there. So she, you could see her looking up at uh, Flynn, you know, blasting stuff and everything. I thought that was good. That was a good transition there. Um, kind of questioning some of their choices. Uh, it was supposed to be a princess and like her protector there, uh, and they were like murdering uh, the the palace guards for some reason. I, I don't know. That was kind of an odd one for Bear there. It's like, okay, here, let's you know. Give the knife to, to one of the palace guards and run away. It's like, no, you just make the guy turn away or something like that. So, that's a little odd, but the, other than that, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, let's see. She says, loved the curved boxes, says Amy. Yeah, they, they did some great work. Great work here. Uh, P Money says, great critique, Bear. Thank you, sir. Uh, why don't these comic skaters uh, get you to edit? Well... I don't know, how, how, you know, hey, we've got this, you know, uh, written by so-and-so, art by so-and-so, edited by a bear. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, a uh, bear's uh, email is in the description down there, so if anybody, anybody wants a uh, bear to take a look at it, he will, will take a look at Kind of a, uh, two completely different philosophies, um, uh, uh screenwriting side for beer here you come up with the story and you figure out the story and you get it as close as nailed down as you can of course things will change in a production but um get it as close as you can as f as far as that compared to uh, the marvel method which is apparently let the artist draw whatever he wants and then come up with the story after the fact um uh, if beer beer would have a hard time with that you could probably come up with uh, some stuff there. I probably would have changed maybe the, um, uh, the, the princess's protector there. Maybe make her kind of like a, a, a rival. Maybe a rival to Finn. And she's kind of worked her way up through uh, the, the sorts of royal guards there. And she's now with the princess and trying to trying to work something out there. Flynn comes down, uh, messes up all the plans, but they kind of meet together. And even though they're rivals, they can kind of, you know, come together to defeat the alien uh, uh, presence there. If you're not really alien, spoiler alert. Uh, uh, go ahead and do that. I think that might have been a little bit better. But um, uh, yeah, uh, Bear, Bear will try the best he can. Try the best he can. p says, if I was doing a Comics Gate book, I would definitely get Bear to edit, uh, partially so I could put in my comic book, edited by a bear. Yes, indeed. That at least would give you, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, 50 or maybe 100 backers there. At least. At least. Just, just the novelty of it. Just the novelty. Yes, indeed. All right, let me see. What else? What else did Beer have here? Uh, anyways, uh, go check it out. Uh, link is in the chat right there and in the description. Our good friends at Indiegogo. Urgh. Why? Why? Uh, anyways, you can go check it out. Beer would recommend it. Uh, just a couple caveats there, but uh, pretty good. Pretty good stuff out there. Good job, Clint. Good job, Clint and Charlie. Yes, indeed. All right, did I? Let's see. Let me go back here. Go back. Do, 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 do. I did all the campaign updates. Oh, I don't know. Do we do? Do we do the? Oh, I gotta get it in there. I don't want to. Ah, oh, gosh darn it! I don't want to do the stinking freaking Disney stuff again. Let's see. Where are we? Do the thing with the thing. Do 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 do. Why won't it do it? For crying out loud! Because I'm not gonna show it anyways. For crying out loud. Okay, there, there, there. Oh, I had it. Of course. Of course, beer. Of course. Uh, 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 blah, 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 blah. Death Santos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney. Yada, yada, yada. Um, <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought this one was kind of funny. I'm not going to read the article. I just thought it was a pretty funny one. New York Post. Uh, many Paralympians are faking the severity of their disabilities. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I won the Paralympics, but you cheated. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe so. So anyways, there is, there is that. How is that guy, how is that guy crippled? What the heck? <laughs> He's got legs that work. Maybe, maybe it's the arms that don't work. I don't know. Not sure about that. 
did they have did they really have it in Tokyo in 2020 wasn't it a, wasn't it in 2021 I thought that they skipped a year thought that they skipped a year anywho anywho people people are going to the Paralympics and are cheating and it needs to stop apparently it is quite a quite a lot of people out there <laughs> It's kind of like the the men claiming they are women and, and just powering through like the uh, Paralympics out there. Powering through it. Uh, Beer saw a good one the other day. It was, I think it was from the B. They had a uh, uh, man claims, by the way, man claims that he is a motorcycle to win a, um, a cycling competition. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty funny. I thought that was quite, quite hilarious there. But anyways, there you go. There is your, there's your funny new story for the day. <laughs> oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I, I have crippling anxiety at times. Does that make me eligible for the Paralympics? I suppose. <laughs> sure, why not? Why, why not? Uh, maybe they identify as crippled. Can we even say cripple anymore? <laughs> Beer apologizes. Beer apologizes. Uh, 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 a, um, a, a, a walking disabled. Walking, walking disabled there. There you go. New York Post. Who was this? Who was it here? Ronnie Reyes. Oh, one of the great names. Ronnie Reyes. I always enjoy. Always a great. Bear always enjoys a great name. Yes, indeed. All right. Where are we? Where are we? We are. We are. Nine o'clock. Holy cow. We've been going. I can't believe I talked about Dung Beetle for that long. Man, oh, man. That, that movie does not deserve more than five minutes of Bear's time here, but um, there we go. In case you hadn't heard of the Blue Beetle, you weren't even aware. You start seeing commercials on, on screen, and you're like, George Lopez, what, what the heck? He's a movie star now? No, he's not a movie star. They're going to put it on. Put it on HBO Max. Uh, one of the things that Bear heard was maybe they were making fun of the uh, previous uh, uh, people, the Hamda uh, people before uh, James, James Gunn took over. Uh, so maybe they were trying to um, uh, make fun of that, but why would you say uh, Batman is a bad German in a film that you're trying to promote that you hope nobody goes to see because you're making fun of the previous? Uh, just just cut it. Just do like a Batgirl and just just cut it. Just just burn the burn the negatives and be done with it. They probably probably wish that they did after after this movie comes out. All right. Well, uh, once again, want to people the other channel. Bear's archive channel. It's blowing up. It is blow it is going to overtake. Probably next week is going to overtake the main channel. Um uh, tens ten or more than ten thousand views, tens of thousands of views, over a hundred subs. People, if you're out there listening to Bear, let's get some let's get some subs on the main channel here. Bear doesn't want to have the second channel get overtaken on the main channel. That would be that would be silly, silly for bear here. But if you are one of the uh, new, new subscribers, new watchers out there, we do appreciate you. We try to do this every Wednesday and Saturday evenings around eight o'clock or so. I like to have a little bit of fun, comics, uh, some movie stuff, uh, you know, Paralympics. Uh, it kind of varies out there, but uh, that's that's what we kind of do. So let's, uh, let me see here. Let me go back here. I want to thank everybody here. Uh, great to see Grant. Uh, great to see Derpy. I haven't seen Derpy in quite a while. Amy plus Melissa. I guess we'll go with P-Money as well. Let's see. Do we have anybody else? I'm not missing anybody else. Any of the lurkers and or Russian bots, we do appreciate you as well out there. Let's see. Uh, Amy says, uh, maybe just do your best job making a movie rather than plot a mediocre one that insults good movies. Amy needs to go to Hollywood. Amy and Bear need to go to Hollywood and fix that place up. Ay, 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 ay. What a mess. I would fix it up with a flamethrower. All right, well, on that note, people, on the note of Bear taking a flamethrower to Hollywood, I want to thank everybody out there. Hi, everybody that showed up. Russian, bots, lurkers, yata, yata, yata. But you know what? All of this talk, all this talk about beetles, I don't know. It's made bear hungry, I guess. I don't know. Eh, we'll go with it. Made bear hungry. So until next time, people. Grrr.